Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. It is actually 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime and I'm just sitting down to have my breakfast, I'll show you what I'm having. I'm having crumpets, not quite the lavish breakfast that I had yesterday but just something quick and easy to eat and obviously they're Christmas tree shaped crumpets, you get these from Asda, I think they're like pound or something. So I'm just having them. Ali is still in his bed. He went to bed pretty early last night. Well, for a weekend for Ali, he went to bed at half past twelve. And I was up till four o'clock doing the video. I never got up till ten. Also today, so I'm really sorry if you can hear me clearing my throat or sniffling or whatever, but also today, well actually I felt like coming on yesterday. I had a really scratchy throat yesterday and I was like, no, no. Today I woke up and I'm all choked up. My throat's a bit rough. I took some um, ibuprofen and it's actually not as painful as it was when I first woke up, so thank God. My ears are all blocked, my nose is choked up and I'm just, I'm feeling okay apart from like being choked up and everything. Like I've not got a headache or anything like that, but no, I do not want to get ill. The cold or the flu, whatever's coming on, can just do one. Anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast or my lunch and when Ali gets up, we do have a little surprise for him in his advent box today and I'm not gonna tell you what it is now, you will see it when he gets up. So hopefully he'll be up soon because we need to leave the house soon. Ah! Ow! Look who's just arrived. <laughs> When they climb up, they dig their claws in. It's a little bit sore. And you can get away from my food. You're not getting my crumpets. No, you're not getting my crumpets. <laughs> they always want my food. Finished my breakfast, left my plate on the table, went to the toilet, came back, and Nala is licking all the butter. <laughs> I just had butter on my crumpets. I love them with lashings of butter. I don't think Simba's realised yet what's happening. Otherwise he would be up there as well, I'm sure. The light of my life is up at quarter past twelve in the afternoon. Having his breakfast, I've made him some crumpets too and a cup of tea. Because you like a cup of tea, don't you babe? You're going to finish your crumpets and we can open your advent. I think you'll like today's one. It's maybe that flat one. This one. Right, it, no. Uh, 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 uh. I can't get it. <laughs> Is it that one? Yep. I have a feeling I can what it is. What do you think it is? I feel like it's got to be tickets to go see a movie. It's not. Sorry, I can't open them nicely. Doesn't matter, you don't need to save the envelope. Kathy, what? Rouge. Where's that? It's up the tune. To read it out. Oh, for a snow and afternoon tea. Yeah. The read, day. Read it. Today we are going to Cafe Rouge for a festive, a festively themed snow and afternoon tea. Is it far away? It's the twenty nine Street there. Oh, okay, that's good. Right, that is probably the best so far. Right, my turn. Deodorant. I've got that deodorant. That's the deodorant I use at the minute. Oh, it's a tiny little deodorant. A pearl beauty one. I'm using this one at the minute actually. It's a roll-on. 
I prefer oh, right, I prefer roll-ons because I feel that they stay fresher for longer. Not an ad. We have about an hour before we have to leave, so I'm actually going to try in that time to get my window decorations up. And then tonight, I know Mark's going to be here tonight, so definitely going to try and get him to help me put up my ceiling decorations. And I also found, I found that I had a runner for that table. So I've got this sort of file foil 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 runner that I found that was part of my in my dining bag so I'm going to actually just put that on my side unit and then we get all that done today the decorations in the living room will be complete would it be alright to wash down my tablet with my teeth? aye oh are you recording? aye it's alright Ali's still on his antibiotics he's just asking if it's okay to have his tablet with his cup of tea. <laughs> so, I'm going to get started on these lights. I'm sorry if the light ends a bit iffy, it's just because it's facing the window and the sun keeps trying to come out at the minute. <laughs> Ready to go to Cafe Rouge. I have not really bothered with my hair today because the weather outside is frightful and I don't have a fire to warm up that makes it delightful. But anyway, we're going to Cafe Rouge and I just wanted to say before I forget, I actually got this on group on this snowman afternoon tea. I don't know if they do it if you phone if you phone and book or you go on the internet and book through Cafe Rouge, but the group one is still available, so I will link that down below. It's not sponsored. Or affiliate, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think um, it's a nice little festive treat for kids or adults actually. <laughs> and Cafe Rouge is a French cafe. I've been there before with my niece Samantha and I really enjoyed the afternoon tea. It was just a regular afternoon tea then. So I'm really, really looking forward to going now. So we really need to go. Let's go, let's go, let's rock and roll. Yay. Loving the lights at Charlie Miller. Well, the trees and the lights. Don't go there, it's crap. Here we are. We've got our own little booth. The bar's right there. True to form, I've gone for my latte and Ali's gone for a hot chocolate. So this is our sandwich. I can't remember what's on that. I think it's a croque monsieur and it's got pigs and blankets with it as well over there. Scones and some cream cakes and stuff. No, it's clotted cream. I didn't like any of the cakes at Cafe Rouge and I felt so bad that I went and got him a cupcake from BB's. How did I get it? Well, take your gloves off probably. <laughs> so he's got a double chocolate one. This is the nice 
Is it BB's Bakery or BB's Boutique? I can't remember, but it's BB's. It's on, I can't remember the name of that street. It's not Castle Street. Is it Castle Street? I think it might be Castle Street. How is that? Better? Have I redeemed myself? Really good. Did Did you just wait till I pressed record to start that Nala? Literally pressed record and she started in our cat litter tree. It's because I've just changed it. She doesn't like when I change it. The minute I change it she goes into it and just makes a mess. Anyway, I haven't recorded in the past few hours. Uh, is 10 to 7 at night, Ali and I are not long home. We went to Cameron Toll after Cafe Rouge. Nala! After, oh, actually, Cafe Rouge, let me talk about that before I go anywhere else. Um, a little bit, big bit <laughs> disappointed by Cafe Rouge today, if I'm honest. The snowman afternoon tea was basically just an afternoon tea. They didn't seem to put on the menu that was in the description of the group one that I read. It was supposed to be pulled turkey and with a hint of sage and a cranberry Dijon on sourdough bread for the sandwich. And we got, I think it was a ham and cheese, basically a croque monsieur, which is what I had before when I went with my niece Samantha. And also when I went with my niece Samantha, we got one big sandwich each. And this time Ali and I got one big sandwich, cut into four to share. We did get the pigs and blankets, so that was fine. The scones were okay, they were nice. The cakes that we got were the ones for the most part were the ones that were on the menu that I read apart from the carrot cake they replaced that with some sort of lemon cake and Ali by the way who isn't fussy at all especially when it comes to sweet foods and cakes and things like that he just did not like the cakes he didn't like the crumble the fruit crumble thing it tasted more like a mince pie base a mince pie crumble and the, it was like a chocolate cheesecake thing with a mallow top. He liked the mallow, he ate that. But the cheesecake, the chocolate was dark chocolate, so he, it was too rich for him. So he didn't like that, and he really didn't like the lemon cake either. And it's not like he doesn't like lemon flavour, he just didn't like it. And we were also, I mean, you were meant to get more festive flavours coming through, like through the scones, and you were meant to get a Stina, it said it chocolate white chocolate buttons and on the white chocolate buttons in the picture it had the snowman written on it none of them none of no strawberries or anything with the cream either with the scones either it was just quite disappointing especially because it had been a treat for Ali and originally I was going to go for just a Dobby's afternoon tea which is where we go quite often for afternoon teas and we really enjoy their ones they have changed their afternoon teas recently Dobby's so the actual adult one is better and the child's one isn't as good as it used to be for Ali anyway I mean he's probably should be getting an adult one anyway now but I still got him the child's one because before the child's one was still plenty for him but now they've reduced all the quantities and the sandwiches and all that at Dobby's so I thought you know what I'll just I'll, I'll get the Cafe Rouge one and make it that little bit extra festive because it is for his advent box treat it just wasn't worth the extra money that I paid for it I wish I'd went to Dobby's and I'm not saying anything against Cafe Rouge otherwise apart from it wasn't festive the sandwich that we did have even though it wasn't the turkey one that I've been looking forward to it was a really nice sandwich I can't I can't deny that Cafe Rouge if you go there go there just for the si simple afternoon tea because then you won't be disappointed like we were. I felt so awful as a mother afterwards because 
you know, usually sweet stuff, cakes and that, Ali doesn't ever have an issue with, but this is one of the rare occurrences that he did. And so, as you saw, I took him to BB's and got him one of their cupcakes because their cupcakes never fail to please. I highly recommend if you're in Edinburgh visiting or you live in the area, you check out BB's cup, a uh, boutique. It's either BB's boutique or BB's bakery. I can never remember it. And also can never remember the name of the street. It's the one before, if you're coming from the east end of Princess Street, it's the one before Frederick Street. And I know the name of it, it just, I can't remember it. So what I'll do is, I'll check it out on Google Maps and I'll put it on the screen. It's BB's Bakery, it's pink, you can't miss it, it's lovely. And they had so many festive like macaroons and confectionery and cupcakes and stuff. But obviously Ali went for the double chocolate one because he's a chocoholic. So Ali wise, I think I redeemed myself with a cupcake. And then we went to Cameron Toll because I wanted to pop into Aldi. I wanted to get some of the festive things I'd seen in their leaflet the last time I, I picked it up, the last time that I was at Aldi. And <laughs> I got my dates mixed up a little bit because it actually, one of the items doesn't come out till the 12th and one the other two things that I want don't come out till the 19th. One of the what things, I didn't really want it, but I wanted to go and see if I could get it and I didn't, hold out much hope was something was out at the minute and that was the is it two meter long or two foot long pig and blanket i was wanting to pick that up we don't need pigs and blankets for christmas day because my brother gets them from his father-in-law but uh, i just wanted to pick it up as like a novelty thing so it wasn't essential i got that the other three things i really do want for our boxing day buffet in the next couple of days after Christmas type thing. I did pick a few things up at all day. I did really need the toilet roll because we're down to our last few rolls from that last 24 pack. And this is the 24, I think it's the luxury one and it's 5 99 I had planned to go to Tesco's. You will see in my big monthly food shop that you'll watch tomorrow, I'm talking about going to Tesco's and I was gonna do it Tuesday morning because there is something that I need for what I'm doing on Tuesday some pre-Christmas dinner prep that I couldn't get it as that and I was going to go to Tesco and get it but actually in all day they have it for 50p less than Tesco and I needed four packets so I've saved myself two pound odd in fact it was 99p so it was 51p less so I've saved myself two pound four by picking it up at all day and I've also saved myself a trip on Tuesday morning so if I'm not feeling great I don't need to leave the house unless I want to but I'm just I'm planning ahead thinking I'm going to feel awful in the next couple of days. So at least I can still do my Christmas food prep on Tuesday. So I picked up four of these packets of the pointed peppers, the red pointed peppers. This is for making my red pepper chorizo and tomato soup for Christmas Day. I make it in advance, so Tuesday. Oh, I'm taking them all right now. I make it in advance and I'll freeze it because I want to spend time with my family on Christmas Day. I want to spend time with Ali. And yes, I am cooking a dinner for 14 people, but that doesn't mean I need to necessarily be tied to the freaking uh, cooker all day. Let's go see the oven. I don't need to be tied to the cooker all day because I'm, I'm going to prep as much as I can in advance. And then it's literally just a case of heating things up, chucking it in the oven, putting the timer on, blah, de, blah, de, blah. What else did I get? Oh yeah, so because I hadn't planned anything for dinner tonight because I remember the last time I went to Cafe Rouge with my niece and I was so full I never ate dinner or anything. I don't think I ate till lunchtime the next day. So I never planned anything for dinner tonight thinking we'd be so full we wouldn't need anything. Maybe if Ali was hungry could have a bit of toast or crisps but I'm thinking we're going to feel a little bit peckish soon so I didn't get anything big. I just got a little tub of olives with feta because I can't have it on summer molds. Well, I can, but I have to sin it. And I, and I just don't, because I can't just have one or two olives. I have to have all my olives. And I also picked up this red pepper and pesto hummus. Picked myself up some camembert. And this is the one that's topped with spinach chorizo. I really, I thought I wasn't going to get the decent one because the other ones were topped with the winter spice. I didn't want that. I wanted the chorizo one. I was so happy because it was right at the back of the fridge. I think, I don't know if somebody hid it there or whatever, but it was right at the back, like behind even the packaging that it was all in. 
So I thought maybe somebody's hiding it, but I don't care. I want this one. I don't want the white winter spice one. And neither did anybody else, apparently, because they were all leaving them. It was these ones that were getting bought. Can't remember how much that was. Is that my receipt? Well, that's just for the papers. I can't remember how much that was. It was maybe two or three pound-ish. And I also got a gingerbread dough kit because I've got to make some gingerbread men for the next weekend. So I thought I'm going to save myself some time and effort. I'm just going to get the dough kit that I need to roll out and can pop the gingerbread men in the oven. You will see all about that at the weekend. That's not a big surprise for you guys. It's a big surprise for other people, so I don't want to spoil it for them. Because Ali and I went to Cameron Toll, there's a pound land there. It's not a very good pound land, but I wanted to pop in and see if they had the charger wires because I didn't get any yesterday. Oh, let me lift this up. Also, today, I never took any of my shopping bags with me. So I ended up having to buy another one. Oh, well, and I got a bar humpug. Bah humbug one. It's a little Frenchy. So I think I did pick up so is it just one charge in there? Oh no I did, I did get two. I've got two charging wires. Just you know, just in case anything happens on my other wire. Because it was really driving me insane that other one. I picked up some of these elf mates, they're like festive tape it says so I need them for next weekend they look quite good another thing for next weekend and to go with the gingerbread men is these writing icing things and I got three packets because they're all different colours in the packs that one's pink, purple and blue this one's green, black and white and this one's yellow orange and red and they were all a pound each but also I got these before I got this one and this one's got green and white in it so if I knew that I wouldn't have bothered getting the green white and black one but hey ho at least it's there if somebody wants to use it they had some well they obviously had their advent calendars half price but they also had some like Christmas sweets and stuff reduced still so I got these Grinch candy sticks, there's 30 in these and they were 50p for the whole bag so I thought that was brilliant and I also picked up some of the Grinch chocolate balls they were also 50p so quite happy with that another elf mates thing, this is just a little mail jar Ali seen this and he wanted to buy it for his bedroom window because he gets a Christmas tree and some decorations in his room so says all right so he's got a let it snow and it says ho 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 so he's got two like a double window in his room so I think he'll put ho 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 in one and let it snow in the other that was just a pound and for the D-O-G-G-Y-S stocking I got them a pack of these which aren't just regular tennis B-A-L-L-S they're really hard they're really hard and do you, do you go constantly goes through tennis balls, he just destroys them, he licks them to death, he chews them to death, he treats them like they're babies but he still manages to destroy them so these hopefully will be able to last at least a couple of weeks at the hands or the mouth of Diego so I'm just going to pop like one in each of their stockings and I'll put one away for spare not that R-O-S-I-E can play with them at the minute but she likes to in her bed she likes to sit and chew it in that as well so that'll make her happy hopefully after the year I'm giving her our full 12 weeks rest this time even if the doctor says it's okay to go out I'm too paranoid that something's going to happen to her leg so I'm making sure she gets her full 12 the doctor the vet I mean I'm making sure she gets her full 12 weeks rest this time anyway i am going to leave this vlog here guys because i am knackered i feel like poop i want to go and take some tablets i have a lem sip and i'm going to get in the bath get in my cozy pajamas and get this video edited and then go to my bed i'm going to try and get a really early night tonight because i've got work tomorrow and the more sleep i have the better i feel i'm sure so tomorrow's upload will be the big monthly shopping haul it's 
my biggest Christmas shop. I, I mean, I still have bits and bobs to get, but this is like the bulk of it coming from Asda in tomorrow's video. So I hope you enjoy that and I will see you again on, well, I'll be vlogging on Tuesday and you'll see it on Wednesday for Vlogmas Day 11.